What's happening, brewers and lab nerds? Today I'm going to show you how to properly uh, rehydrate gelatin to find your beer with gelatin to get it as clear as you possibly can. There's a lot of procedures on the internet on how to do this, but after all the books I read, I've only found one place where they actually discuss the procedures, and it's in the uh, New Lager uh, Brewer book. And in that book, they say to take one gram of gelatin per gallon of uh, beer and to rehydrate it in 60 milliliters of water. So what I've done here is I've taken the water and I've boiled it for about 10 minutes. That will take all the oxygen that's dissolved in the water and release it so that you have de-aerated water. You don't want to add any extra oxygen to your beer now that it's already done fermenting. So that water has been boiled, then it's been cooled to room temperature. So now it's around 68 Fahrenheit or 20 Celsius. What we're going to do is I'm, I'm finding 10 gallons of beer. So we're going to go ahead and add the water into a container, ideally something with a large base such as this one so that you can sprinkle the yeast more evenly and get a good nice spread and everything gets uh, hydrated. So that is uh, 600 uh, milliliter in here or 6 deciliter since I have 10 gallons that I'm finding. Then I, I bought this on uh, Amazon really cheap and uh, I have 10 grams weighed out. So I'm going to sprinkle that on top and then I'm not going to touch it for an entire hour. Alright, so that's going to just sit there for one hour and then we'll come back and stir it around and then start heating it. We're now back after one hour. The uh, gelatin has fully hydrated. What we're going to do now is take a sanitizer and spray down a whisk and then we're going to stir the uh, gelatin lightly and then let it sit for another 15 minutes. This procedure takes a lot longer than a lot of other procedures, but it has always worked very well for me, so I think it's worth it. Plus it's the only one I've ever seen written down in an official book. All right, there we go. And then just come back another 15 minutes and it'll be, start, uh, it'll be time for heating it up. All right, it's now at least 15 minutes later and the gelatin has had an, another chance to hydrate. What we're gonna do now is actually just take the, the combination here, the slurry, and heat it up in the microwave until we get 70 degrees Celsius. I'll be right back. The gelatin is now at 70 degrees and is ready to be added to the beer. You can cool it down to room temperature if you want to or you can pitch it the way it is. Once you add it into your fermenter, you want to go ahead and purge the fermenter of CO2 and then either agitate it manually or circulate it through a pump just to make sure it fully mixes. The beer should also be below 10 degrees Celsius or 50 Fahrenheit when you add the gelatin mix. That's so that yeast and proteins will have flocculated together as much as possible prior to adding this. The way gelatin works is that it has a positive charge and it attaches itself to suspended yeast, proteins and polyphenols that you get both from uh, hops and from the grain itself. That's really it. Once you have added it, you want to wait about 24 hours to let it do its job. The colder the temperature, the better it is, but like I said, at least below 10 degrees. And 24 hours later, you can either uh, pour off the first couple of pints that come from the bottom of the fermenter or just siphon from a bit above the bottom of the fermenter. All right, cheers.